hello guys my name is Arun and welcome to my channel in this video I'll be explaining to you guys how to install packages if you're in an offline scenario now if you have if you're stuck in a place where you don't have internet or your internet is down or you have to install packages in uh, some kind of a remote server account wherein the connection to internet is blocked because of some security reason something like that okay then life might become a bit difficult isn't it while installing packages well Hopefully, uh, the Python pa uh, the Conda installer available in, from Anaconda or Miniconda has a workaround for that. Okay, first thing we need, first thing we need is, first thing we need is that we need these tar.bz2 files. Now, as I mentioned in the in my previous tutorial, these files will have the, all the compiled versions of the of the language available. So, it, in inside these folders, you have all the executable shared objects and the uh, scripts that scripts that you that is necessary. Necessary. These uh, these files were built from scratch in some operating system corresponding to the specifications, and then they just uh, you know export. They just uh, compile and they just you know wrap them up with wrap them up as. Uh, Wrap them as zip files like these, and then they export it out. So export it out. First, you need to download these files that are re relevant, and make sure when you do that, you know all the you know all the uh, prerequisites. Prerequisites. And now you first uh, let's see how to download this. First of all, what you need to do know is that you can go to this website web website to get it. So let me walk this guy through again. Now. Kanyum Analytics has a web page has a web page called as repo.kanyum.io. Okay, hope you can see this. Now here this is like a gold mine for all the repositories, all the packages. So go to the Conda repository repositories and here you have packages for Python, R and there is Microsoft uh, packages for R and some other commercial packages. We don't want these, we just want to we just want this one here you have packet you have support for windows you have packages for 32 bit windows 64 bit windows 32 and 64 bit mac os x and different varieties and flavors of linux okay so uh, i'm insta i'm interested in this because mine's mine is i'm using 64 bit linux so i have to go here and click this link and here this is a, this will uh, you know redirect to redirect you to this page this is actually a a big collection and a big collection of uh, tar.bz2 files. Okay, now that now uh, all your files are available over here. Now what you have to do is just uh, pick the pick the pick the file that is most relevant to you and collect them collect them up. So whenever you install Conda with your internet on, whenever you start installing packages with Conda, with Conda all it does is that it just goes to this repository and picks up the latest version of the tar.bz2 files that is available over here and then brings it over there to install the mumps. So this is uh, this is actually the thing you need. So you can download these files. Suppose if your package is not available over here, okay. Uh, alternate thing you can do is that just uh, search in the internet, look for package, look for these tar.bz2 files and download them. And after once you have them, installing them with Conda it's easy. Okay, go on. Uh, that's step one. Go and download these files that are necessary. And uh, for this, I th for this it's going to be since this is an offline installation, it's going to be slightly uh, annoying because you may not have the dependencies. So I suggest that uh, if you want to install packages. You have to go and get the manual. You have to go and manually get all the required collection, required libraries that way. Okay. Once you do that, once you do that, go to, uh, have a go to the uh, copy them to the system where you have uh, where the internet is offline, and then go open up a terminal, open up a terminal, and then type conda install the package name. So and let's say I'm going to install this package MP, MPICH2. So all I have to type is MPICH and then let the autocomplete work it, do its thing. And you press enter. And what it'll do is that it'll just go and extract a package, fetch the, fetch the package or from here, extract it, unlink the already existing package if it's any, and then relink this package. Okay. This way you are able to install packages one by one. Now. You might ask me, "Hey, this is if just a, this, this is just a single package. Fair enough, I can do it. What if I have multiple pack? I have multiple packages over here, and how do I do them instead of doing this manually?" 
is there a way of a way to automate it yes it does yes there is for that you need to use a little bit of shell scripting like you have there might be multiple ways so the one i find it much more easier is working with the shell scripts so what i have here is that i have written a small shell script what it does is that it lists down all the tar.bz2 files in this repository in this uh, folder okay in this folder and then it's going to start this in this for loop it's going to list them down and then takes take the file names one after the other and then calls conda installer and installs them one after the other okay this this way it's pretty automated and there, and i put this minus y in the front minus y over here so that it does not ask me to proceed like if i just do directly it'll, it uh, if you just do directly it might ask me to, should i proceed uh, yes or no so if i put y over here it don't uh, it'll just ignore it and automatically assume it's a yes and proceeds further so let's run this let, let's run this script over here so let me clear this terminal and now i just have to type bash this file name is install all the tar.bz2 files it's over here in the same folder having all the bz2 files so install all tar.bz2 files and press enter and and that's it what uh, what it does is that it just goes and extracts all the packages unlinks the already existing packages and relinks the new links the new one and that's about it you now you just have to sit back and wait for all of this to be done that this way you have an, uh, this way you are able to install packages without of much of a difficulty okay and here there is no need to download i mean now here, this way you don't have uh, even if you're stuck in a place where you don't have no internet you can do something about it okay now that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial thank you guys for watching and in the next tutorial i'll be talking to you guys about creating python environments so stay tuned